Hello everyone, and um, today I'm giving you my review of the, of the most recent Hannibal episodes, of the most recent Hannibal episode, uh, Digestiva, and basically in this episode, it it's, it's mainly in, it, it takes place in Italy, and it says Hannibal, well, captured in Italy, Hannibal is essentially transported to... Hannibal, Hannibal and Will are brought to Muskrat Farm where the Mason, where Mason essentially awaits their arrival, brings them in, interrogates them, uh, basically talks to them, uh, almost like treats them like both, both a house guest, both a house guest, and yet also like they're being under investigation, which essentially they are being investigated and they're being conned for what they've done. And I really, really do think this is a very good episode, in my opinion. And where I think it really is greatly strong, as it always is before, in my opinion, is definitely where it definitely builds a tension and a sense of horror and suspense within these characters. Like, whenever they're talking, you just like, it seems like any moment one of them could die or anything terrible could happen to them, either be traumatized, either they die or not. Like, you really do, like, at this point, it really does show a great testimony of how much you grown to love these characters and if anything happens to them like anything happens to Will, Graham, I mean the Will Graham or the Jack Crawford or the Hannibal Lecter or to any of these characters you really do feel the consequence and you're kind of like no I don't want that to happen like you really just the show really does at this point addresses how far you've grown to enjoy these characters no matter how despicable they are it grows it really does grow to the testamental levels of how much you've grown to love them, and I think that's really, really well done to the to the film's writing testament, and it shows how well and how much it has gotten us to really love these characters, and I think that's a truly well-established thing, and I really applaud the, the TV show for doing that. And of course, uh, essentially, Mason, how Mason interacts with Will and Graham is very suspenseful. You don't know what's going to happen. He's so unpredictable. There's some great iconic scenes, like from the books and from the movies, like the area with the pigs, and how essentially Mason gets taken out, how he dies, like how the two girls, like they push him into this small little pool area that's quite deep and has like an eel in there and it just eats at its face. I'm like, great way to go out, even though it would have been a bit more fulfilling if he got taken out by those pigs. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. It would have been a lot more um, uh, chicken tongue to do that, to take him out with the pigs, but I'm glad they did, they did something different. I'm glad they did that. Um, I of, of course, like always, I love the writing, I love the directing. It feels very claustrophobic at times. It really does. It really knows how to put you there. It really does know how to put you, I mean, into their positions, to into their perspective. It really makes you sympathize with a cold-blooded killer, with a man who's killed people, with a man who's friggin' eaten them, and the testament to such a degree of how they've done that is something I don't know how they could have done. How they can make such um, cinema's most legendary killer s s and how you can give so much sympathy towards a character like that. It's incredible and I really praise the show for that. It really really knows how to put you in their perspective and how it makes you feel sorry for cinema's most notorious serial killer. It's really incredible how great it is and I friggin love the show for that. I, I really really do and of course the way it goes through and with the other girl who is uh, who says I'm Hannibal's family <laughs> like how she has a sniper and she takes one person out is it's great suspense and how they film it as always is so enticing and so engrossing and so well done and put together like mmm I, I really do love it like, first two shows like, my, my my reviews of season one and two is that I love how it seems like they thought everything through, they see everything before, and then they go into making it because it seems like it's an inside out type of feel. Like you need to create all these layers. You need to create this whole world to really make it seem like it would be established 
in, and I think that's so well done and so well realized. It seems like, even though it is in the modern day real world, it makes it, it makes it seem like it's not our world. Like stuff this type of way would not fly, even though it, it kind of shows you can get away with it, and it's a twisted degree. To, and to what? And to such a twisted degree, it can do that. All right, it's so clever, but I can't help but say, how do they do that? To me, it's so well done and so well, so, so well praised in my opinion. And the show, maybe its best episode this season so far. I really love this episode. Definitely give it two big thumbs up, everyone. I really do love it. And of course, as always, it has. It's all around well, well made, great, well, great writing, great directing, great cinematography, great character interactions. Ah, the way that this episode ends is so clever and so anonymous that you think to yourself, like, the, the spoiler there, if you haven't seen this episode yet, is that um, Harrible essentially turns himself in into the FBI, but it's very much on note of is he, do, is he doing this for his own sake, or is he doing this with Graham, or what's going on? It's very much like, you know he wouldn't doing this, he would not do this willingly. It seems like he's going, he's giving himself to the FBI for a reason. It's almost like he's going eat, to eat the FBI from the inside out. And the preview for next episode, for the next episode, it's very much like to understand evil, you have to. You, it says itself like you know to to understand evil, you have to give yourself to evil, and that is how you really come through um, as a whole. For and I'm just more and more and more engrossed each episode. Everyone, I love the show. It's still just fantastic as always. It's well written, it's well edited, and I love it to death. This episode, truly in my opinion, is warranted to see it. As always, everyone, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the f uh, later today with another video with my review of uh, the movie Trainwreck, which I saw just a few days ago. Until then, until then, everyone, I'm out. See ya. Till then.